The threat of death is not new to Rahaf. She's bisexual, which is illegal in Saudi Arabia. I had to hide who I was. I had to lie. I had to pretend that I was the girl that you want me to be, just to survive. And yet you continued to date women growing up. How difficult was that? It was very difficult. Um, I had a long-term relationship with a girl and nobody knew about the girl. What do you think your father or your brothers would have done if they had found out that you were dating a woman? Two options, to kill me or to force me to marry someone. To this day, Rahaf still receives death threats from strangers. Some have even offered her friends money in exchange for Rahaf's address. Rahaf is now 22, a proud atheist and a single mother. She still feels like she isn't entirely safe in Canada, but says she loves to taunt the men who threaten her online. I just love pissing them off because they're unhappy to see me living the life that I want. I'm not living in the box anymore. You can wear whatever you want now. Do you feel the need to promote that on social media almost as a way to get at your haters? Yeah, because I'm a female, I want to enjoy you know, myself, show some skin or whatever. Um, it's a freedom. Rahaf plans to study acting, but for now she's focused on her YouTube Hello channel. Hello everyone, this is Rahaf Mohammed. She's also to... released a book aptly titled Rebel. How do you think your family would react if they read the book? Very bad, very bad, because I talked about everything. Rahaf hopes if her family bothered to read the book, they may understand her better. But her main target is oppressed women from around the world. Some of them feel helpless and hopeless. They have to convince themselves that this is normal and I have to accept the reality. You, you deserve the freedom that you want. You deserve the life that you want and fight for it. <laughs> Okay, I'm bisexual, I'm a new and 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 I'm a